everyone, this is Debbie with Debbie'sKitchenCorner.com. Today I would like to show you how to make a tiramisu cake. But it's not just any normal tiramisu cake because it looks like a candle. White chocolate outside, yummy tiramisu inside. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Let me show you how to do it. So we will use an empty soda bottle for our candle mold. Just remove the label and then cut the top and the bottom off, either with a knife or a scissor. We use the middle part for our mold. To make the candle mold, we will need approximately one pound of white chocolate melts or wafers. Let's melt the chocolate over a double boiler. To make your own double boiler, we just need a pot with barely simmering water on the bottom. Once that bowl is on the pot, just make sure that the bowl is not touching the water. Place the bowl of chocolate over the steam and just let it melt. Steer continuously. Just keep on stirring until it is soft and silky. There, that looks good. Place the mold on a plate with a parchment paper. But as you can see, <laughs> I forgot that. Fill the bottom of the mold with the melted chocolate. Make sure it's evenly. And then let it cool in the fridge. After it has been in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, Take the mold out and fill the melted chocolate in the mold. Tip it sideways so we can cover the walls. You might have to reheat the chocolate again from previously. Make sure to repeat this step again so that the walls are at least a third inch thick. That means that you might have to put it in the refrigerator for a little bit, let it cool, and then put another layer of chocolate on it. Just make sure it's thick enough so it won't break once you fill it. Let's make the espresso mix for the lady fingers. You need a quarter cup milk, a teaspoon cocoa powder, a teaspoon sugar, a quarter cup espresso, an ounce amaretto liqueur. First, let's pour in the milk and the cocoa powder mixed with sugar in the saucepan. Mix it thoroughly. Bring it to a quick boil on your stove and then put it to the side and let it cool a bit. Then mix the espresso and amaretto with the milk mixture. But if you do not have espresso, just get some strong coffee. That will work as well. Let's keep going and get the ingredients for the mascarpone mixture ready. We need 3 eggs divided into whites and egg yolks, 14 oz mascarpone, a quarter cup sugar, 1 oz amaretto and about 10 ladyfingers. Take the 3 egg whites and beat them in your mixer until you have stiff peaks. In the meantime, take another bowl and beat the three egg yolks until they're starting to get foamy. And then add the sugar. Beat for at least another three minutes. Now, Add the mascarpone in it. Mix until well combined. Mm -hmm. 
add one ounce of amaretto liqueur. But of course, this is optional, but it gives the tiramisu that well-known taste everybody loves so much. Take the bowl with the fluffy egg whites and take about a third of it and fold it into the mascarpone mix. Slowly, fold slowly so that the mixture doesn't deflate. Repeat until all the egg whites are folded in. And now comes the fun part. Let's put it together. Pour about an inch of the mascarpone mix on the bottom of the candle cake. Then take the lady fingers and soak them in the espresso mix. First one side, then the other. Make sure they are not overly soaked, otherwise they will actually fall apart. Stick them all around on the wall. Fill the middle with the mascarpone mix until the top of the lady fingers are covered. Break some of the lady fingers apart, soak them as well and place them on the top. Again, fill the mascarpone mix to the top. Just as a tip, try to remove the mold before you fill the cake. It's a lot easier, believe me. But since I did not think of that, I have to do it now. Take a box cutter or any sharp knife and carefully, carefully cut from the top to the bottom to remove the plastic mold. And voila, out comes a shiny, smooth, great looking tiramisu candle. Or is it a cake? Ah, I don't know. Let's continue. Fill it up now all the way to the top and let it run down on the sides so it looks like wax running down the candle. Top it with some cocoa powder, if you like. Melt some milk chocolate for the decoration. I'm actually making this cake for my daughter's bridal shower, but you can use it for any occasion. Fill the melted chocolate in a little bag and cut off the end. Just start creating. Hopefully you put those creations in the fridge to harden a bit. Use some melted leftover chocolate as glue to stick it on the sides. And as easy as it breaks, it's also easy to fix and nobody will know. I made a little flame for the top out of chocolate, but if you can buy a candle wick and stick it in the top, that might be a little more spectacular. It could be lit for a couple seconds, but I did not have one at hand and I think it still looks good. What do you think? I think it turned out amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, would you mind hitting the like button? And if you don't want to miss any future recipes, please also subscribe. Hope to see you soon!